I will present you the UI device class. You already met UI device, in fact. Uh, you used it in the set of videos when we were trying to guess the device we were running on, okay? And in fact, we were interested in a property that is exported by UI device, which is user interface idea. But in fact, you get much more information about the device than just the type of the device. You can get the device name, the device model and localized model. Uh, there are a difference because one, uh, I think, uh, is based on the linguistic uh, preferences. Uh, the name of the operating system, the version of the operating system, I think we also used these two. The device orientation, the level of battery, the state of the battery, and the state of the proximity sensor. The proximity sensor is something, is a sensor that is associated to phones only. And when you have your phone close to your ear, then this proximity sensor deactivates the screen because it's useless to spoil energy to have the screen on since apparently it's difficult to have a look at it. And you get a few other information too. UI device is also associated to a notification system and in fact when you deal with these uh, properties uh, you get values and these values are updated real time. For example, orientation, so you can at any time have a look at the current orientation of the device. You get portrait, portrait upside down, landscape left, landscape right, but also you have face up and face down. Uh, for the battery state is full, unplugged or charging. Okay. And you may have the battery level available, which provides you a CG float between zero no battery at all, and one full battery, 100% charged. And the proximity sensor provides you the information as a Boolean value, which is true if it's activated. And there is a notification mechanism that is standard that allows you to know when you have to look at these properties. So let's have some basics about notification. So it's a minimum survival guide and as Rambo could say, I'll be back later with more on notification. But here, just the basics to be able to use this notification and especially the notifications coming from UI device. Uh, what are notifications? It's a sort of multicast communication system. It means that regularly the system issued events and it doesn't know to whom or to which entities these events are issued. But you can listen for some event. You can specify that you are interested by some events. Okay. And then if you are interested by some events, you can catch them. It relies on a notification center. Okay. Uh, it's notification center or NS notification center in uh, Objective-C. And in fact, you fetch a reference on the only notification center. So any object can do that. He get this reference to the notification center. Uh, so it's notification center dot default because this is the default notification center. And in fact, you associate what are called observers. And observers are entities, typically methods, that are triggered when the uh, event is issued by some Thing. So you have the listening object, you have the associated observers, they may belong to another object, no problem, okay, and everything goes through the notification center. And of course, uh, you can handle several notification queues, you might have a queue per type of uh, event, but it's transparent for the user of this framework. You must register to events and you may also of course unregister for these events. So to follow events to register there are two methods okay. Uh, the first one where here you are uh, directly providing a handler. The handler must be of that profile so it receives a notification that is a parameter and returns nothing okay. Uh, and uh, in fact, you have the other way that is more classical, more 
target like uh, where you have an observer, you specify the selector and you specify in both cases of course the type of notification you want to follow. Okay? And you may have also some uh, additional information, some object you can pass uh, to uh, the system. Usually you put it to noon. To unregister you remove the observer. Okay? So had observer can allow you to register in one of these two ways to a given event and so if you are following several events you must register to these several events okay and you can also remove observer. Standard notification in UI device uh, are very standard so in fact uh, once you have registered to these uh, notifications you must request uh, UI device to generate these notifications okay so here you have the way to activate deactivate orientation notification and uh, you do the same for the battery and the proximity sensor but in fact it's not a method it's a, an attribute that you have or a property that you have to set up and in fact you have predefined registration for all these standard objects uh, they are in UI device so you have orientation did change notification that will be associated to this okay you have battery level did change notification and battery state did change notification so the first one will be issued every time you lose a percent or you have a percentage more uh, in your battery so regularly uh, while the second one will change uh, when you for example plug or unplug or have your battery being full okay and uh, you also have the UI device proximity state did change notification that is issued when uh, the proximity sensor is activated of course once again it works on iPhone only. So querying a device is quite easy and typically you can fetch battery state or battery level and in fact to be honest you have lots of battery applications that just do that and they just uh, put that they wrap that in a nice interface with a 3D battery and we see the level the decreasing or increasing etc etc with nice colors but in fact beside the nice looking the application does nothing but listening to the events generated by UI device. Thank you for your attention, see you later! <laughs>